February was the month of love and friendship, and boy do I love a good haul. Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode here at Awaken Geek Them. I know, it's been a while. Sorry about that, it's just, it's a phase. I'm working out some things to better the channel, and in the process, the videos take a, you know, they take a little backseat. You know, a little uh, slower pace, but don't worry, I promise I will be uploading more frequently soon-ish. But in the meantime, let's do a lovely haul. Let's start with manga because they're cool I finished getting Spirit Circle here is volume 5 and volume 6 both covers right there I also got My Hero Academia and Fire Force volume 6 I am missing uh, Dr. Stone and Ancient Magus Bride I'm waiting for a larger order you know to group everything together so you'll see those eventually uh, next up, a brand new series that I'm really excited to read. It is uh, Ran and the Grey World. Here we have volumes uh, one and two. And it just looks really cool. Plus, I like the Viz Sig line. It, it's awesome. The art in it is fantastic. I mean, take a look at this. That artwork is pretty splendid. Of course, for my not safe for work quota, here is Prison School volume uh, 12. I think it's going to be two more to complete the series. It's it's one of my favorite mangas. So hilarious and so funny and so absurd at the same time. I don't know in what aspect I should be laughing at the most. Uh, for uh, comic books, regular comic books, uh, like everybody else and their grandparents, I got uh, Mr. Miracle. Rumble, volume... what volume is this? Volume 5. Rumble, volume 5. Birthright, volume 7. My favorite DC uh, hero, of course, Aquaman. Aquaman Suicide Squad. If you were to count the Rebirth trades, this would be volume 7. Suicide Squad and Aquaman. Sync Atlantis. And the horribly overpriced Infinity Wars. As soon as I order this book, these two are getting combined into one uh, thin, uh, complete collection thing, a hardcover, like uh, similar in length to the uh, Guardians Omnibus that I recently reviewed. You couldn't have waited a year or a couple more months. Nope, right there. But uh, whatever, I like trades and I'm, I'm happy to just own it and finish uh, the actual story. For my sole hardcover in the month of February, I thought this was coming out in September according to Amazon because there was a printing error and they had it scheduled for September. So here is Kaiju Max, the deluxe edition, basically volumes one and two of the trade paperbacks thrown in into an absolute sized hardcover. Uh, it's pretty awesome. However, it is the misprint. I don't know what happened. The snafu, basically there's a repeat inside. Uh, Jesus, I can't remember uh, the actual number. I think it was uh, 111 and 200 something page. It's the same. Uh, the new one is at in stock trades and somewhere else. I didn't know that, but whatever. I have, I fortunately, I still have the trade. So I just took out like a scan of the page so I could keep it and uh, dump the trades, I guess, and, and sell them or something. So yeah, Kaiju Max. Uh, wonderful series. I have done a review for the first book if you want to check it out on this channel as well. And that's it for books. It was a pretty light month and by the looks of it March and April are going to be very similar. I, I don't know. Thank goodness the wallet can breathe a little bit, you know? Uh, so I'm glad on that part. Although with the whole cancellation drama and all that stuff, who knows? Next up, like we always do, we switch on to movies. Movies, boy, I got a lot of movies. This is the 4K segment. Uh, so yeah, for dirt cheap money, I got uh, Shape of Water, Creed, you got It. One of my favorite movies, I know, I'm weird, but it's one of my favorite movies, uh, The Da Vinci Code. Uh, next up, one of my all-time favorite movies, 
Gladiator, I, 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 every year I see this movie, I think like twice or thrice, I don't know, a lot of times, and now I get to see it in 4K and it looks breathtaking, I love it. Saving Private Ryan, this restoration was beautiful, it's like watching it for the very first time, I loved it. And, of course, A Quiet Place on 4K. But we're not done, because we're still on the movie section. Switching over to the animation side, I picked up Reign of the Superman, the conclusion of the two-arc uh, DC anim movie animated universe. It started with Death of Superman, concludes here, and I do believe the next one will be the Hush adaptation. Speaking of animation and voice actors, I picked up a lot of anime Blu-rays as well. Here we have Love, Chinibio, and Other Delusions, uh, the Complete Seasons 1 and 2, and the OVAs. Hilarious, I love this series. Uh, Machia, I think it's Machia, on uh, Blu-ray. I, I want to do a, a review on this because it's pretty damn good. Uh, Overlord, Recent, uh, I think last month I did the Season 1. Uh, I showed Season 1, here is Season 2 of Overlord. This, which literally came in right before I started recording, uh, is Dudadada X2, or the second season. Unfortunately, it's an Aniplex release, so it's pricey, and they had the brilliant idea, quote unquote, <laughs> uh, to split it up into, I think it's like seven or eight uh, Blu-rays, so I am in no rush to pick them up. I, I just found this for cheap. <laughs> Uh, from a third-party seller, so I got it. But I'll get the rest eventually. And uh, one of my favorite releases, Ancient Magus Bride. This is, or, you know, technically it should be the Ancient Magus's Bride. Um, this is the first half of the anime series with the deluxe box, and uh, it has a bunch of cool stuff in it, like a mini encyclopedia and all that stuff. Here's the actual uh, Blu-ray. I like to do reversible covers. And check this out, a uh, little uh, booklet with the wonderful art of Ancient Megas Bride. Toys, figures, collectibles. Now, I have to give a massive shout out. Unfortunately, I unboxed a lot of it. Uh, you, can, you can sort of see one right there. Uh, I got uh, six pops that I really, really freaking wanted. Uh, some surprise gifts and all that stuff from my good friend Josh. Josh, you are the best. Thank you so much. He was kind enough to gift me, and, and I'm showing the pictures as I'm talking, uh, three more pieces of the Universal Monsters so I could complete that set. You can sort of see them right there. Uh, all I'm missing is Phantom of the Opera and the new Invisible Man, and I'll have the full set. I love the Universal Monsters so much. Thank you for that. And the friggin' Marvel Legends Silver Surfer, which I never found at my local Walgreens. I was never able to get it. With that Surfer, I can finish my Legends collecting. Uh, I'm taking like a huge sabbatical, if you will, because it's just too much. I'm comfortable with what I have. I don't. I don't need any more. They'll probably release something really badass in the future. Maybe if they do like a, a build a figure wave with the Inhumans. I know that'll never happen. But if we can like build a figure, uh, a Lockjaw, that would be awesome with uh, Triton, Crystal, uh, Gorgon, Medusa, Black Bolt, uh, the Karnak, everybody else. That that would be. Uh, spectacular but until then uh, yeah it's 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 been fun collecting the legends but I have enough <laughs> I'm just gonna focus on other things you know uh, but yeah uh, thank you so much Josh you are the best that the awesome care package uh, was phenomenal and speaking of phenomenal I unboxed it so <laughs> it's clear I have here the Figma of Aqua from Konosuba one of the funniest shows I have ever seen. I am very picky with comedy because not a lot of the shows out there make me laugh. It's probably me. I don't know. I don't tend to like a lot of slapstick or uh, outrageous or black humor or I don't know. But for some reason, or dark humor, uh, Konosuba, I get it. And it makes me laugh wholeheartedly. The character designs are awesome. Everybody is on point. Uh, sub, dub, whatever, everything about it I absolutely love. 
and I really wanted to display them. I love the idea of Figmas where you can, you know, change the faces and the accessories and all that stuff. So I picked it up. Here you can see a, a little preview of the fa uh, of the facial expressions, I should say, for Aqua. Uh, actually, yeah, Aqua is my favorite character. I don't know. Everybody's great. <laughs> And uh, this, which I haven't unboxed, I, I won't do it now, but here is Megumin as well. Looking pretty freaking awesome. I love this so much. Oh, and I, I, almost, uh, I almost forgot. I did on a, a quick little unboxing on uh, Instagram. Instagram, you, you can follow me there, a week and geek them, uh, for this My Hero Academia mystery box. And you get uh, Endeavor and Deku in one C and a bunch of uh, filler stuff. Guys, thank you so much for another successful haul video here at A Week in Geekdom. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. It's funny that I haven't posted and a lot of people have joined and subscribed. Thank you so much. You are the best. And I promise I will be uploading more reviews soon. I do have the uh, Super Sons in the works and I am making uh, my first One Piece review. So look forward to that and more yeah, soon. Just just hang in there. I, I trust you guys that you will hang in there. Uh, like I said, thank you for liking. If you can hit the notification bell thingamajig so when I post a video, you'll know. Uh, that would mean uh, the world to me. <laughs> I will catch all of you on our next episode.